What's up? Today we are going to take four pounds of dirty range brass and turn it to four pounds of super shiny range brass using this wet tumbling system. So let's get to it. This is a setup I've been using for the past two or three years to clean my brass. It's the Rebel 17 from StainlessTumblingMedia.com. As the name implies, it uses stainless steel pins as a tumbling media instead of corn cob or walnut or whatever coffee ground bullshit most people end up using in a dry tumbling system. The kit comes with five pounds of stainless steel pins and they're sized so that you'll never get them caught in a flash hole. You can put a max of four pounds of brass in here, which is roughly four to 509 mil. You'll also need a gallon of water or agua. Thanks Rosetta Stone. So if we do the math, we end up with the five pounds of stainless steel pins with the kit, four pounds of brass, and then one gallon of water, which is roughly eight pounds. Add it all up, you get 17. Hence the name, motherfucker. A lot of the cleaning action is just done by normal dish soap, um, but make sure that you get the antibacterial kind. You're not gonna be able to hit shit because your bullets will have salmonella or the flu medically resistant staff. And if you want your brass to be really shiny, you're gonna need to use some Lemmy Shine, which is like if, uh, if Jimmy Buffett made methamphetamines. So once you've got all your components and water and soap and bullshit in there, go ahead and seal it up. The first thing you're gonna need to do is put this gasket on. Follow that gasket with an end plate and hand tighten all your nuts. Heh, <laughs> nuts. The manufacturer lists some recommended tumbling times. I found that to be excessive with two exceptions. One, you've got some crazy dirty brass that's black and it's been baking out in the sun in the desert for the past 10 years. Or two, you're some super anal F-class shooter that has to have the shiniest brass on the planet that cannot have a single speck of crud anywhere on it. Most of my reloads are just for range blasting, so I knock the worst of it off. For standard brass, I'm looking at maybe an hour and a half to two hours at the outside. And for nickel-plated brass, I never tumble for more than an hour. Once you pop the top off, you're going to see a whole lot of white soap suds and a whole lot of really nasty water. Yeah, that shit's gross. The next thing you're going to need to do is separate your brass from your stainless steel media. And in order to do this, you're just going to use a standard media separator. Uh, but instead of running it dry, fill it about halfway up with water, then go ahead and dump everything in there, and you'll start cranking it, and you can hear the pins fall out at first. So once, uh, once you stop hearing the pins fall out, it means that you should be good to go. After that, I'll dump all the brass out onto a towel to knock most of the water off. And then it's onto my secret weapon. I totally stole my girlfriend's food dehydrator. In my defense, she never actually uses it. The amazing thing about a food dehydrator is instead of waiting all day long for your brass to dry, you can get it done in 45 minutes to an hour and a half depending on what kind of cases you're using. So you should go buy one. Or don't. I, I don't really give a shit, but at least now you know more about it. Cool. Deuces. Let me shine. It's like, uh, it's like meth for people with scurvy. Pirate, pirate meth addicts. <laughs>